Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. In this video, we will learn about reading, displaying, and writing an image using Open CV. Open CV provides separate functions for all the three operations. Let's have a look at them. To read the image, we have the function I am read. Its first argument is a relative or absolute path to the image, and the second argument is an optional flag which specifies how the image should be represented. 0 is for grayscale and 1 or minus 1 is for colored images. Minus 1, however, also reads the alpha channel in the image, while 1 is the default flag. These three are the most commonly used flags, but OpenCV also includes more. Here's a list of them. It should also be noted that OpenCV reads the image in BGR format. To display an image, we have the function I am show. Its first argument is the window name on which the image will be displayed and the second argument is the image. With I am show, you will also need to use the function wait key which specifies for how long the image will be displayed. It inputs one argument which is time given in milliseconds. However, if this is zero, the image will be displayed indefinitely. To write the image to disk, we have the function I am write. Its first argument is the file name with the extension and the second argument is the image that needs to be saved on the disk. Now let's try these functions out on code. To follow along with me, open the Learn OpenCV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive the starter code link on your email, download it and Let's get started. We first need to import OpenCV and NumPy and read this image. Now use cv2.mread, provide the image path and the flag and save this to image. Good. Now to display the image, use cv2.mshow and pass the window name and the image. But before we run this code, make sure you have wait key 0. Then run this code and here is the input image. We will change this image to grayscale and again run the code. Check out OpenCV University's official OpenCV Bootcamp to learn about these and more advanced concepts. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. Next, we will write the grayscale image to disk. Comment the mshow lines and use cv2.mwrite and pass the output file name and the image. Now run the code. There you have it. So that's all about reading, displaying and writing an image using OpenCV. If you like this video, check out our complete playlist on getting started with OpenCV. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.